Now that we're able to grab the word length and represent each of the letters with an underscore, I want to start thinking about, well, how do we generate a random word? One of the ways we can do that is by using an array. So what I'm going to do here is on line three here, I'm going to set a series of words equal to an array. In my array, let's pop in some words. Let's have apple. Second word we could have is banana. And let's have a third word. Let's have pear. Now, obviously, this word here, we don't want to define it as computer, but we want to actually pick up one of these words at random from here. Now, the way I can do that is identify the position of the word in the array. So the word, let's say it's equal to, I want you to go to the words array and pick the zero position. And if you recall, the zero position is actually the first position in the array. So this is position zero, one, and two. So arrays always start from position zero. What I'm going to do is echo out the word. So echo word, go across to my browser and we'll refresh. And there we have Apple. If I put in position one, we should get banana, refresh, and I do get banana. Now, I don't want to put the position in here. I want that to be randomly generated. And there are several ways we can do it, but one of the ways we can do, we can say array rand. So going into that array randomizing and choosing one of the words. Okay. So it's going to go to the words array. It's going to randomize it. I'm going to get the position from that. So that's going to generate a number, zero, one, or two. And based on that number, we're going to pull out the actual word and assign it to this variable here. We're then going to echo out the word. And then from that, we're going to grab the length of the word and echo out the underscores. Let's see if that works. We'll refresh. We get apple with the five underscores, refresh a couple of times, there's banana with six, and there's pear with four. So that's all working. Now, obviously, you can increase the number of words in this particular array, but to be honest, it's a little bit awkward having to type these words in with quote marks and commas between them. It would be nice if we could generate that from maybe a text file, CSV file, etc. And we'll look at that in the next video.